Okay, itutuloy natin ngayon yung discussion natin sa motion. This time, gagawin natin or pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon is yung two-dimensional motion na. Okay, strictly speaking, um, combination ng horizontal and vertical motion. That is what we call the projectile motion. Although, <coughs> parehas na parehas lang yung magiging analysis natin dun sa Uh, na pag-aralan na natin na horizontal and vertical motion. This time nga lang, pagsasamahin lang natin sila. So, before that, i-recall lang natin yung vector. Alam naman natin na distinguish na natin yan at the beginning of this uh, subject natin dito, yung distinction ng scalar quantity and vector quantity. Uh, vector quantity is a physical quantity na merong direction and at the same time, merong magnitude. Examples are displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, etc. Okay. Na-discuss din natin yung mga properties niya. Okay. Yung equality niya, kailan siya magiging equal kapag equal ang magnitude and direction. Pwede natin siyang i-add. Okay. Ang negative ng isang vector ay same yung magnitude pero opposite lang sila ng direction. Kung pwedeng mag-add, pwede rin mag-subtract. And then, Pwede lang tayong nung mag-multiply or mag-divide ng scalar value sa isang vector. Yan lang yung mga properties niya. Bukod doon, na-discuss na rin natin ito, yung kanyang components. No? Meron tayo, ang vector ay pwedeng ma-breakdown or mahati sa kanyang component. Or a vector can be expressed as a sum of its expo uh, components. For example, if we are working on a two-dimensional plane, kung meron lang tayong x and y na plane, meron siyang x component, ax, and meron siyang y component na <coughs> ay. And if that uh, vector makes an angle theta with the x uh, axis, yung tangent ng angle na yun ay equal lang dun sa ratio ng y component divided by the x component of that vector. So, lahat ng vector, lalo na kung may angle yan, mag-create niya ng component. Isang component, parallel dun sa x direction, meron din siyang component, parallel dun sa y direction. Kung two dimensions lang. no Kung 3D, of course, kung 3 dimension ang ating uh, plane, meron din siyang component AZ. <coughs> meron din siyang component parallel to that axis. Pero we are only be working with two components lang kasi two-dimensional motion lang yung i-discuss natin. Okay. Anong nangyayari pag sabay nating uh, inobserbahan or i-investigate ang horizontal and vertical motion? Nangyayari ito kapag meron tayong tinatawag na projectile. Projectile motion. Okay. Ano ang projectile motion? Two dimension siya. Na kung saan, sabay siyang gumagalaw. Yung object natin is moving horizontally and at the same time vertically. Kagaya nga nitong nasa drawing. Uh, example nito yun kapag nagtapon ka ng yung canon. Paano ba mag-drawing ng kanon yan? Pag nagpaputok sila, yan, it, it will move vertically and horizontally at the same time. So, dito, dalawa na yung dimensions or dalawa yung motion na ina-observahan natin, horizontal and vertical motion. Projectile, yun yung tawag dun sa path. And as you can see, parabolic yung shape ng projectile motion. <clears throat> Kung ano man yung napag-aralan natin sa horizontal and vertical motion, yun lang din naman yung gagamitin natin dito. Yun nga lang, sabay silang nangyayari. Sa projectile motion, dahil velocity yan, fired o, okay, at a certain angle, binato, for example, meron tayong object, binato siya at a certain angle with the x-axis, magkakaroon ngayon yung velocity, because that is a vector quantity, magkakaroon yan ng horizontal and 
vertical component or x component and y component along the projectile or yung path. So, mula dulo hanggang umpisa, merong x and y component yung ating um, velocity. That means, meron siyang horizontal motion and at the same time, meron din siyang vertical motion. Sa horizontal motion or sa x component, ito ang tandaan natin, constant velocity yung ating projectile. Under, the projectile is under constant velocity sa x component. That means, wala siyang acceleration sa horizontal motion. That means, isa lang yung magiging formula natin. Kasi nga, constant velocity means no acceleration. So, ang magiging formula lang natin is, distance is equal to initial velocity. So, yung initial dito, ang ginamit niya, o oh, why no? Not so, let's stick with our uh, convention, yung notation natin, Vxi. Dahil constant velocity nga, yung horizontal ah, component ng velocity from um, finish, to, or from beginning to finish, lahat yan pare-parehas. So, yung mga nakikita nyo, nakikita nyo mga horizontal component ng velocity natin dyan, Tignan nyo, pare-parehas lang na VOX. Or, pare-parehas lang yung, initial, yung velocity nila. Mula initial hanggang final point or position. <coughs> Excuse me. Pare-parehas lang or equal lang. Kasi nga, dun sa X component ng ating velocity, sa projectile motion, constant velocity tayo. Hindi magbabago yun. So, that is the x component. On the other hand, yung y component natin, constant acceleration. So, nag-accelerate lang tayo sa vertical motion or yung vertical component ng velocity. At, of course, vertical motion yan, so yung constant acceleration natin is the same as yung gravity. Gravitational acceleration, yung constant acceleration na tinutukoy natin sa y component. So, yung tatlong equation natin, applicable pa rin siya dito. Yun pa rin yung gagamitin natin dito sa y component. So, we have y final equals y initial kung meron plus dy i t plus 1 half, sorry, minus 1 half gravity squared. Yan yung first equation natin kung matatandaan nyo. Nire-recall ko lang to. Yung second equation, final velocity is equal to initial velocity minus gravity times time. And then, meron pa yung isa. Oh, sorry. Dyi squared minus 2g Delta Y or Y final minus Y initial or Delta Y is the displacement. So, kung ano man yung napag-aralan natin, basically, kung ano yung napag-aralan natin last year, last lesson, sa vertical and horizontal motion, ganun na ganun lang din ito. Piyagsama lang natin. At ang magiging kaibahan lang nila is that sabay na nangyayari. As you can see dito sa diagram natin, sabay na sabay. So, simultaneous itong nangyayari kasi as it moves horizontally, it also moves vertically. Okay? So, at this point, sa initial point, meron siyang vertical component, ah, uh, sorry, horizontal, meron din siyang vertical. Nag-move siya at certain time, meron siyang horizontal component, meron din siyang vertical. Na-reach niya yung maximum point, as we all know, di ba, Na-discuss natin yan sa vertical motion, sa maximum point or maximum height ng isang uh, free-falling body, zero yung kanyang velocity. Kaya nag-zero yung Vy. However, meron pa rin siyang uh, horizontal component. Then, mag-move pa rin yan. Magkakaroon na siya ngayon ng vertical. Meron pa rin horizontal. So, kung ano man yung mga napag-aralan natin last time, ganun na ganun lang. Okay?
ang magiging ano lang natin, ang catch lang nito, kaibahan lang, sabay na nangyayari. Sabay na merong x component, merong y component. And, lagi natin tatandaan, ulitin ko, sa x component, constant velocity. Isang equation lang tayo. Yan lang. Isang formula lang. Sa y component, constant acceleration. Yung acceleration na yun, gravity. And, gagamitin natin yung tatlong equation natin or formula natin last time. So, let's solve an example para mas maging clear. Yan. A long jumper leaves the ground at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal at the speed of 11 meters per second. How long does it take him for him, sorry, to reach the maximum height? Okay. Saglit lang, no? I-edit ko lang yung PowerPoint. Wala pala akong blank slide para sa solutions. Yan, okay. Sorry. Um, example natin, a long jumper leaves the ground at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal and a speed of 11 meters per second. How long does it take for him to reach the maximum height? What is the maximum height and how far does he jump? Assume his motion is equivalent to that of a particle disregarding the motion of his arms and legs and find the maximum height. Let's solve. Uh, let's identify first the given. So we have yung angle. Mas maganda siguro kung mag-create tayo ng diagram. Uh, yung paa na lang nung... <laughs> Sorry sa drawing ko. Ayan. Long jumper yan. Di ba alam nyo naman ang long jump? Ang contest ng long jump. Pahabaan ng marireach horizontally, yun yung ano, kaya nga long, okay? So, tatalon siya dito, initially, ito yung point niya, so sabihin na natin ito yung ground, or yung lupa, yun yung magiging ano natin, um, zero level ng vertical and, ng vertical natin, vertical position, ground level tayo, sabi niya, 20 degrees. So, ang angle natin, not drawn to scale, okay? 20 degrees siya. Tatalon siya, makakarating siya rito. Ayan yung paa niya. Ang kanyang initial velocity is 11 meters per second. Okay. Yung 11 meters per second na yun, pinagsamang ano yun, vertical and horizontal component. Okay, VI. How long does it take for him to reach the maximum height? Yun yung letter A. Um, this is one trick para mag-solve ng projectile motion. Dahil dalawang component niyan and simultaneous yung nangyayari na sabay silang nangyayari, we have to isolate yung components para mas madali. Isolate mo yung motion niya horizontally and isolate mo yung motion niya vertically because the horizontal and the vertical component behaves uh, differently. Diba? Sabi ko nga kanina, yung sa under x component, uh, constant velocity tayo. Isa lang yung working formula natin. While on the vertical component, uh, constant acceleration tayo under gravity. Tatlo yung working formula. So, to solve for the um, kung ano man yung hinahanap dito ng mga unknowns, i-isolate natin siya. So, Sa letter A, the first thing you uh, you need to determine kung saan tayo nag, kung saan um, component natin kukunin yung hinahanap niyang unknown. Sabi niya, how long does it take for him to reach maximum height? So, if we are to draw this diagram, ang hinahanap niya is yung height, di ba H, eto. Sabi na natin nandito yung peak, maximum height yan. So, ibig sabihin, vertical yan. Vertical distance kasi nga height. 
Ibig sabihin, we are working on the y component. So, dun tayo mag-work on. Under y component, vertical motion, constant, acceleration tayo, gravity. So, tatlo yung formula natin. Ang hinahanap natin is h, or that is yung height, which is y. No? Vertical distance, y. So, meron tayong ilan, ilan yung equation natin? Tatlo. Okay, since sabi natin yung ground is, yun yung zero ng ano, ground level natin is zero. So, yung yi natin, mag-zero yan mamaya. Tapos, eto yung ating equation. Ayan. Meron ba tayong masasolve dito? Ang hinahanap natin is, how long does it take for him? So, time. Time to reach the maximum height. Meron ba tayong vyi? Meron ba tayong yf? Wala. So, hindi pala natin magagamit itong formula na to. Kung ito, yung pangalawang formula natin, y final equals y initial minus gt. Ang hinahanap natin for letter A is yung time to reach maximum height. T, nandiyan yung hinahanap natin, gravity constant, yi, meron, yf, meron ba si yf? Yung final position natin, considering yung maximum height nandito, eh di ba, alam na natin yan in our previous discussion, at the maximum height, ang velocity ay zero. So, itong y, uh, vyf natin, or final velocity in the y direction, zero ito. So, kompleto tayo, pwede natin gamitin itong second formula. So, Vyf will be zero. Bakit? The velocity is zero at maximum height. Yung, vert, uh, yung, horizontal comp ay, sorry, yung vertical component lang ha, yung y component lang ang zero. Okay, just to go back dito sa diagram natin. Dito, yung maximum height, zero yung y component, pero meron tayong x component. Okay, huwag tayong malilito. So, itong y final natin, vy final, is 0, equals vyi, hindi siya given, pero meron tayong given na vi, na 11 meters per second. Diba, sabi natin kanina, vectors, kung merong certain angle, magkakaroon siya ng x and y component. At alam natin, magkakreate yan ng right triangle. So, pwede nating masolve si Vy dyan. Vyi is actually, kung gagamitin natin ng trigo or right triangle, so katoa, that is Vi sin ng theta. Linawin ko lang yung ano, Kung saan ko nakuha yan. Diba? Ito yan. Ito yung Vy. Ito yung Vx. Ito yung V. Kung initial yan, lalagyan mo lang ng initial lahat. Okay? So, kung ito yung theta, so katawa lang tayo. Yung Vy is opposite over hypotenuse. So, sine ang gagamitin natin. Kaya yung Vy is Vi sine theta. So, that is equal to, ang VI natin is 11, ang sine theta natin is, ang angle theta is 20. So, yung VYI sine theta, or sorry, I11 sine 20. Yan, so 11 sine 20, yung VYI. Minus gravity. 9.81 and then time, yun yung hinahanap T transpose mo si negative 9.81 T magiging positive and then mag divide ka lang ng 9.81 both sides to solve for T T 
is equal to 11 sine 20. You need a calculator there kasi si angle 20 is not a special angle. So, to be exact, kailangan natin ng calculator. The answer is 0 0.3835 up to 4 decimal places seconds. So, yan. It would take 0. Point, walang, walang halos walang isang segundo, no? 0 0.3835 seconds for him to reach maximum height. Uh, it's okay if we just... Uh, you know, uh, sometimes this, um, these problems are cliche. Uh, you, you, I mean, if we talk about projectile motion, yun kadalasan yung mga hinahanap, yung time to reach maximum height, what is the range, what is the maximum height itself. So, kadalasan, uh, nilalagyan na siya ng formula. Actually, we can create a formula here. Ayan. Galing dito, since we are uh, looking for the time to reach maximum height, and we know na magzi-zero yung VYF, so gagawan lang natin ng formula. I don't know if it's it's okay with you na mag-memorize ng formula, pero para sa akin kasi, yung tatlong formula, dun lang din galing tong mga to. So, para sa akin, ay, hindi ko na dinadagdagan ng iba pang formula yung tatlong yun. Doon pa lang. Basta't alam mong i-analyze, uh, alam mo paano i-analyze yung problem. Yung tatlong formula na yun, yun lang yung kailangan mo. Pero, since cliche naman siya, yung tinatawag na, yung mga common problem na hinahanap sa projectile motion, pwede mo siyang gawan ng formula. So, from here, ilipat mo si gravity, magiging positive. So, GT equals PYI, and then T, equals VYI divided by G. And since VYI or the Y component of initial velocity is VI sin theta, oh, pwede natin express that as VI sin theta divided by G. So, pwede ito yung formula mo. This is the formula for time to reach maximum height. Given given yung initial velocity at saka yung angle. Angle ng projectile. Yan. Pag mag-google kayo ng projectile motion or mag-research kayo sa mga libro, minsan, ito yung mga binibigay nilang formula. And as you can see, galing pa rin naman doon sa tatlong working formula natin, si Tito Vic and Joey. So, it's up to you kung gusto yung i-memorize yung mga ganitong formula. Basta uh, tandaan lang natin kung saan sila nagmula and alam natin kung ano yung mga ginagamit na variable dito no? si VI dyan yan yung velocity initial velocity and then sin theta yung theta yung angle ng projectile motion ok for part B ang tanong sa letter B what is the maximum height itself ok hinahanap natin yung maximum height Uh, ang meron lang maximum height, that is vertical distance, so y. Ang meron lang y doon sa ating tatlong formula is yung first and third. Tito and Joey. Okay, letter B. Given pa rin, ang given pa rin is, ang theta is 20 at ang initial velocity is 11 meters per second. 20 degrees yung theta. Ang hinahanap is the maximum height. So, y. Gamitin natin yung pangatlong equation. Vy final squared equals Vy initial squared minus 2gy. Given na projectile yan at an angle theta, uh, Considering the vertical component, magzi-zero siya at this point, which is the maximum height. Ibig sabihin, magzi-zero yung final velocity natin dito. So, zero equals 
VYI squared minus 2GY. Transpose natin minus 2GY, so that would become positive 2GY equals VYI squared. We are solving for y, the vertical distance, maximum height. So we solve for, we divide by 2g, both sides. That is equal to y equals vyi squared all over 2g. And since, so katawa ulit tayo, ito yung vi, ito yung vx, ito yung vy. Gaya ng ginamit natin kanina sa part A, ang VYI is equal to VI sin theta. So, pwede natin i-substitute dito. Palitan natin si VYI magiging VI sin theta. And then, i-square natin siya. Divided by 2G. eto kadalasan yung formula na ginagamit ng mga libro. So, from dito, oh, pwede mo siyang pangalanan ng y max for maximum height or h max. Iba-iba uh, yung ginagamit ng mga libro. So, so, you can use this formula kung gusto mo. Pero using that, kasi dinerive naman natin siya dun sa ating equation, uh, Substitute natin yung mga values, 11 sine 20 squared divided by 2 times 9.81 equals calculator 11 sine of 20 squared divided by 2 times 9.81 0 0.7 2 meters 7 to 1 Sige, gawin ko lang apat na decimal para meters Again, if you want Pwede mong i-memorize itong formula na to. Or you could stick with yung tatlong working formula natin since then. Okay, for part C, let's go back to the problem. How far does he jump? Okay, assuming his motion is equivalent to that of a particle disregarding the motion of his arms and legs. Okay. How far does he jump? Ang tinatanong dito is Again, I'll draw. Kung ito yung talon niya, ito yung ground level. Sorry kung hindi perfect parabolic 'yan. Ito yung angle na 'yan. Yung tinatanong sa part C, how far does he jump? Is actually horizontal distance. Ito yung hinahanap natin. 'Yan. Gaano kalayo horizontally yung initial position niya doon sa final position ng kanyang pagtalon. So, dahil ang hinahanap natin is vert, uh, horizontal distance, sa horizontal component tayo magbabase. Pero isa lang naman, diba, sabi, na, uh, sabi ko nga kanina, pag horizontal um, motion dito sa projectile natin, isang formula lang kasi nga constant velocity tayo at yung formula na yun is x equals vxi t okay walang problema sa x yan yung hinahanap unknown vxi wala rin problema kasi magsasokatawa lang ulit tayo kasi meron na, given naman yung theta na 20 degrees at yung vi na 11 meters per second. And alam natin, so katawa ulit, ba? kung ito yung VI, ito yung VYI, ito yung VXI, ito yung theta, so katawa, 
So, say, Vxi ay adjacent. Therefore, cosine ang gagamitin natin sa Sokatoa. So, Vxi is Vi cosine theta. Okay, kanina, sine theta, kasi ang, ginag ang motion natin, ang component na pinag tatrabawan natin is vertical. Ngayon, dahil horizontal, yung x component din yung gagamitin natin, which is vi cosine theta. So, walang problema dito. Papalitan lang natin ng vi cosine of theta times multiplied to t. Okay. Ang kailangan na lang natin, meron naman tayong vi, meron naman tayong theta. Ang kailangan na lang natin is time. Saan natin kukunin yung time? Eh, isa lang naman ang equation natin dito. Okay. Tandaan natin, sabi ko nga, although dalawa ang component, two-dimensional motion to, sabay itong nangyayari. So, kahit magkaiba yung behavior ng horizontal and vertical motion, there is one property or one thing na maglilink sa kanila or magre-relate sa kanilang dalawa and that is, yun yung time kasi sabay nangyayari dahil sabay na nangyayari, yung time nila the same din so pwede natin kunin itong time na to doon sa vertical motion since in, dito sa horizontal motion wala na tayong ibang magagawa kasi isa lang talaga yung um, formula natin wala naman na tayong ibang pagkukuhanan na, pagkukuhanan ng time So, kunin natin dun sa vertical motion. And luckily, nasolve na natin kanina yung A. Di ba si A, ang sagot is, ay ang tanong kanina is time to reach maximum height. Kung mapapansin mo, yung time na yun is mula dito sa initial position, papunta dito. Yan yung time. The time it takes to reach maximum height which is 0.3835 seconds. Pero di ba, pag aangat ka, bababa ka pa rin naman. At, sabi natin yan, symmetric yan, parabolic yan. So, kung yung time mula, ng, mula sa baba, initial, papunta sa maximum height, ay t, syempre yung time, mula sa maximum height, pababa naman, at same level as the initial position, same time lang din. Kasi nga, Symmetric. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin kunin yung time dito, pero, imumultiply na lang natin siya ng 2. Kasi yung time na nakuha natin sa part A is just the time to reach maximum height. Hanggang dito lang. Eh, ang kailangan natin sa part C yung buo. And eh, dahil symmetric naman siya, imumultiply na lang natin ng 2. Kasi same lang yung time dyan. So, yung nakuha natin kanina, na 0.3835 imumultiply lang natin ng 2 so sa so, substitute natin yung mga values vi is 11 meters per second cosine ng 20 multiply 2 yung time na 2 times 0. Point, sorry uh, hindi na ako gamit ng ayan, 2 times 0.38 3, Yan na yung distance na hinahanap natin or how long does he jump. So, 11 cosine 20 times 2 times 0.3835. The answer is 7.9282 meters napakahaba niyan. Galing naman ng ang galing naman ng long jumper na to. 7.92 halos 8 metro yung natalon niya. So ganun. That is the answer for letter C. Actually yung hinahanap sa letter C minsan uh, ni, binibigyan nila ng tawag dito ng tawag yung total horizontal distance mula sa initial hanggang sa final point ayan tinatawag siyang range range siya maximum height kapag sa vertical pero sa horizontal 
yung distance mula sa initial to final position, tinatawag na range kapag sa projectile motion. And actually, yung time din, that time to it, it takes to reach the range, or yung time mula sa initial papunta sa final, tinatawag naman siyang total time of flight. Kadalasan, ito yung mga terms ng mga li libro. So, total time of flight. Yun yung time mula sa initial papunta sa final. And the total time of flight, kadalasan, malaking T. Yan. That is, the total time of flight is twice the time to reach maximum height. Yan. Kaya nga, tinimes to natin dito sa solution natin kanina. Okay. Sometimes uh, they create, there is a formula for the range. Okay, from here, from this point, if you want to make a formula, formula for the range or yung total horizontal distance, since x equals vx, sorry, vi cosine theta times time, but that time is twice the time to reach the maximum height. And we have already created a formula for the time to reach the maximum height in part A, which is Vi sine theta divided by G. So I can substitute it here. Palitan ko lang. So I'll call this range na. Range equals Vi cosine theta 2 times Vi sine theta divided by G. Okay. Itong VI sin theta divided by G, ito yung ginawa nating formula kanina dun sa part A. This is the time to reach maximum height. Nakamultiply yung lahat. So, if we simplify it, we have VI squared times 2 sin theta cos theta divided by G. Bakit ko in-isolate yung 2 sin theta cos theta? Because this is actually a trigonometric identity. And actually, that identity is sine of 2 times theta or sine ng 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta. So sometimes, ganito yung nagiging formula ng mga ibang books para sa range. Yan. Papalitan lang natin yung 2 sin theta cos theta ng sin 2 theta. So, ang formula for the range is vi squared, initial velocity squared, sin ng 2 theta divided by g. Yan. Galing pa rin naman dun sa mga ginawa nating formula. And still, galing pa rin yun dun sa tatlo nating equation. O, oh, but sometimes, sabi ko nga, cliche kasi itong mga problem na to. Kung baga, kapag sinabi mong projectile motion, ito kadalasan yung mga kinukuha. What is the range? What is the time to reach maximum height? What is the maximum height? So, kadalasan, nilalagyan na siya ng formula para hindi na siya paulit-ulit na ina-analyze mo from the top. Pero, nasa sa inyo pa rin kung gusto nyong i-memorize to. Okay, magkaiba ito ha. Baka kasi malito kayo. Dun sa, yan, itong formula for the maximum height, yung ginawa natin, itong nakabox. Um, minsan yung ibang, ganito nila sinusulat, yung ibang books, yan. Vi squared, sine squared, theta, divided by 2G. Huwag kayong malilito, no? Magkaiba yung sine squared, theta magkaiba yung sin 2 theta. Ang sin squared theta means sin theta and then quantity squared or that is sin theta times sin theta. Yung sin 2 theta 
means dalawang beses mong o oh, nakatimes to yung mismong angle na theta bago mo kunin yung sine function niya. Yan, magkaiba po sila. Baka kasi ito rin minsan kahit ako pag minimemorize ko tong mga formula na to nalilito ako sino ang naka sine squared at sino ang naka sine 2 theta kung yung range ba o yung maximum height so I just want you to be careful with that pero as long as alam mong i-analyze I think uh, hindi mo naman kailangan tong mga formula na to except syempre yung tatlong formula natin Tito Vic and Joey So, this next example, example number 2, meron daw Alaskan Desker Play. Nakikita nyo naman sa ano natin, figure. Nag-drop siya ng ration, ration, emergency ration to a standard cycle as shown. The plane is traveling horizontally 4 meters per second at a height of 100 meters above the ground. Where does the package strike the ground? relative to the point at which it released and then what are the horizontal and vertical components of the velocity of the package just before it hits the ground okay, i-drawing ulit natin yung plane ito kunwari yung plane it is traveling at 40 meters per second horizontally Ibig sabihin nun, walang angle yung velo initial velocity niya, walang angle. Ibig sabihin, meron lang siyang horizontal component, 40 meters per second lang. Meron lang tayong VXI, 40 meters per second, pero wala tayong VYI. Okay? Kasi walang angle eh. Siyempre, ang weird naman pag yung aeroplano, pag ganyan yung takbo, <laughs> ganyan yung lipad, ba diba? So, straight lang. Minimaintain niya lang yung horizontal motion niya. Yung airplane is at a height of... Airplane to ah. <laughs> at a height of 100 meters. So, ito yung ground. So, balikan ko na lang yan oh. Ganyan na ganyan. Ngayon, nagtapon dahil may na-stranded na mga hi hikers nga. Nagtapon sila ng rasyon, pagkain. Sabi na natin, nakabox. Okay. Kahit uh, free fall mo siyang itapon, va dahil sa inertia, no, dahil originally, sabihin natin na yung um, box, yung rasyon ay kasamang gumagalaw Nung airplane, syempre nakasakay malamang yung box na yan, tapos itatapon. Ang tendency dahil sa inertia, syempre magmumove din, magkakaroon din yung ng velocity yung box or yung rasyon. Same as the velocity of the airplane. No? Ganyan siya. So, dahil meron siyang velocity, magiging ganyan yung kanyang motion. So, kalahating projectile, kalahating parabola lang kumbaga. Wala siyang initial velocity in the y direction, meron, pero meron siyang velocity in the x direction, which is 40 meters per second. Ang tinatanong is, kung dito siya hinulog, sabihin natin dito yung uh, origin, gaano daw kalayo si x? Ayan. Ano ang distance ni x? Kung saan mahuhulog sa lupa yung ating rasyon. Okay, i-isolate natin again yung horizontal and vertical component para ma-solve to. Ang hinahanap natin is horizontal component, distance, x. So, sa horizontal tayo, mag sisimulang mag-solution, uh, mag-work. Pero, di ba, uh, sa two-dimensional motion, isa lang yung formula natin. Vxi t lang. Hindi na, hindi na natin kailangan magsukatawa dyan kasi walang angle, walang theta. So, yung VXI, yun mismong 40 meters per second. Check ulit. Meron yan, given ka agad. Yung X, ito yung hinahanap, unknown. Yung T, pero again, 
hindi rin naman natin alam yung time to reach no at dahil isa na ang equation natin sa uh, horizontal component para makuha yung time dun ulit natin kunin saan sa vertical component kasi sabay ulit nangyayari yan two dimensional motion so yung time natin kunin natin sa vertical let's analyze yung vertical component wala siyang initial velocity vyi is zero so para lang siyang free falling in the vertical component free falling siya kung matatandaan nyo yung free falling diniscuss natin last year last lesson yung mga basta na lang hinulog free falling bodies and of course they are still acted upon gravity or gravitational acceleration So, magagamit pa rin natin doon sa Y component yung um, tatlong equation natin at saka yung G. Okay. Ang kailangan natin is time para masolve itong X. Kunin natin sa vertical component. Alin yung may time? Actually, lahat ata yung tatlong equation natin. Y final equals Y initial plus VYIT minus 1 half GT squared. Ito, may time to. Yung VYF equals VYI minus GT, may time din. Okay, yung pangatlo, walang time. Itong pangalang equation, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin kasi hindi mo naman alam si VYF. Kahit na... Okay, kahit na meron itong VYI, hindi, hindi natin alam yung VY final. No, hindi natin pwedeng isiro si VY final to kasi hindi naman siya pangat. Kung mapapansin nyo, pababa na siya. So, yung VY final niya nandito. So, hindi magzizero yan. No? Kaya, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin itong pangalawa. Yung una na lang ang gagamitin natin. Yung YI, assuming na ito yung zero natin sa taas, magzizero ulit yan. Ano yung YF? Yun yung distance mula sa initial to final. So, gano'ng kataas yun? Given naman na 100 meters. Yun yung height ng airplane. Siyempre, yun din yung height na itatravel nung box natin or nung rasyon. Pero, again, anong gagamitin? An anong sign yan? Negative 100. Bakit negative? Kasi pababa. Sinet natin na yung nasa taas ang 0 meters natin. Yung height mismo nung airplane ay 0 meters. So, dahil bumaba tayo, nahulog yung rasyon, we are 100 meters below our initial point. Kaya negative 100 yung Y final natin. Equals, ang initial velocity natin, VYI, given 0. Kasi yung airplane originally, ang movement niya lang, horizontal, walang vertical. So, magzi-zero din pala ito. Ayan, zero na rin yan. So, ang matitira na lang is negative one half times 9.81 gravity T squared. So, simplify lang natin ng konti. Negative 100 equals Negative 1 half times 9.81 is negative 4.905 t squared. Mag-divide tayo both sides ng negative 4.905 to solve for t. Cancel. So, ang t squared natin ay equal sa... Twenty point something. 20.3873984 Para mas eksakto. <laughs> Tapos, dahil t squared yan, we get the square root. We get the square root. So, ang time natin ay... Nasa na? 4.515 seconds. Is that the exact time? Yes.
you take the square root of 20.38735984. That is the time from the height of the plane up to the ground. So, that is the same time that we are going to use dito para masolve yung x natin na unknown dun sa part A. So, solving for x, we have vxi is 40 meters per second given yung uh, velocity mismo ng plane times 4.515 seconds na kinuha natin dun sa vertical component. And that would give us 180.6 meters. Okay. Yan po yung distance na itatravel ng rasyon mula doon sa starting position niya. Horizontally. Part letter B. Let's label this A. Part B, what are the horizontal and vertical components of the velocity of the package just before it hits the ground? Okay, that means, ano yung velocity ng package dito? Dito na sa final point, sa may bandang baba na, sa ground na. Okay, baka <laughs> ipiloso po nyo, sir, syempre, titigil na siya kasi na-hit niya na yung ground. Yes, kaya nga yung tanong is just before it hits the ground. Siyempre, gumagalaw yan. So, bago siya mapahinto ng lupa, bago siya tumama sa lupa, gumagalaw pa yan. So, may velocity pa. Yun yung hinahanap natin. So, again, i-isolate natin yun. Kasi dalawa yung two-dimensional motion. Sa horizontal, wala tayong problema Kasi, sabi nga natin, constant velocity yung ating uh, horizontal motion. So, kung at the final point, ang velocity natin, ang x component ng velocity at the final is just the same as the velocity or the horizontal velocity at the initial point, which is just equal to yung given na 40 meters per second. Wala tayong problema dyan. So, ang kailangan na lang natin kunin is yung sa vertical. So, VYF, dahil meron tayong acceleration sa vertical component, gagamitin natin yung VYI minus GT. Ang initial velocity, 0. Diba? Given dun sa ating uh, initial vertical velocity or y, VYI ay 0 minus gravity na 9.81 Ano yung time na hinahanap natin dyan? Yung time dyan is the same time na nakuha natin kanina which is the time to reach the ground 4.515 seconds So yun lang din yung gagamitin natin dito And therefore, ang velocity natin is 44.29215 meters per second. Sir, negative ba? Yes. Kasi ang direction natin sa ng movement nung rasyon, di ba, pababa. So, yung velocity niya in the vertical component or vertical direction, negative, pababa eh. So, okay lang talaga or dapat lang talaga na negative yung makuha natin. Pero yan na ba yung sagot? Hindi. Uh, look at the question. Ang hinahanap, velo horizontal and vertical. So, ah, kala ko velocity lang. Yan. Yan na yung dalawang sagot. Kasi yung mismong hinahanap is naka-specify na horizontal and vertical. But what if ang tanong wala yung horizontal and vertical? Ang sabi niya lang, what is the velocity of the package just before it hits the ground? 
What if wala ito? Wala. Wala yan. Yan. Ang tanong is, what is the velocity of the package? Dahil velocity lang yung tanong, hindi niya tinatanong specifically kung horizontal and vertical. Ang kailangan natin gawin, if that is the question, pagsasamahin natin yung effects ng horizontal and vertical component. Kasi, remember, sabay na nangyayari to Two-dimensional motion. Simultaneous ang galaw. Horizontal and vertical motion. So, if the question asks, what is the velocity? It didn't specify kung horizontal or vertical. Ang gagawin natin ay, ipi parang Pythagorean theorem natin. Yan. Ah, oh, sorry. Vxf squared plus Vyf squared. Yan lang yung gagawin natin. Then, sa substitute natin, 40 squared plus negative 44.2915 squared. And the velocity final is equal to Sorry, 2925 pala yung 292215 59.68 meters per second yeah. Ano ang direction? Para makuha mo yung direction ng velocity mag arc tangent ka VYF minus VXF arc tangent ng negative 44.29215 divided by 40 Ang direksyon niya is negative 47, that is equal to negative 47.91 degrees. Yan. Kung yung tanong is gano'n na, kung ang tanong is what is the velocity, pag hindi niya in-specify yung horizontal o vertical, kailangan pagsamahin mo yung effects niya. But, but since... Yeah. Uh, in-specify nyo naman na uh, hinahanap yung horizontal and vertical components hanggang dito lang Ayan. just in case lang no uh, eh, klinaro ko lang kasi sometimes ganun yung tanong what is the velocity 